garden. Springtime is right around the corner and the golf courses will begin to fill with eager golfers. Have you ever considered that yoga may help improve your golf game? It can help both your swing and your mental game. Yoga can help increase your range of motion as well as build strength in your shoulders and hips. Let's explore some poses that may help you reduce your handicap. Let's start out on all fours. We want our hips over our knees, our shoulders, arms, and wrists all in line. Let's start out with our fingertips pointing toward our knees to stretch out our wrists. If you're feeling comfortable here, you can try sitting, sinking your hips to your heels to intensify the stretch in your wrists. Remember, nothing we do today should hurt you. If it hurts, stop. And release. Let's come to a comfortable seated position on our mat. If you have limited shoulder mobility, you may want to grab a yoga strap, a necktie, a towel. You're going to take your strap in your right hand, reach your right hand overhead, bending at the elbow, bringing your hand to your mid back. Reaching up with your left hand to grab the strap bringing your hands as close to each other as possible, or if they can touch, interlocking your fingers and reaching your spine up long and breathing. Beautiful. And release to switch arms. Taking your strap, towel, necktie in your left hand, reach your left hand up toward the ceiling, bending at the elbow, bringing your left hand to the middle of your back, reaching up with your right hand to grab the strap, bringing your hands as close as comfortably possible, or if you're able to, interlacing your fingers, sitting up with your spine long, and breathing. Beautiful. And release the hands. Let's come back to all fours. On an inhale, shift your weight to your left hand and extend your right arm long in front. And if you're able to, also your left leg long behind you. Reaching through the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. And release. On an inhale, lift your left arm long in front and extend your left right leg, reaching through the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Breathing. And release. On an inhale, tuck your toes under so that the pads of your feet are on the mat. And as you exhale, press into the mat, lift your hips for downward facing dog. Pressing your chest toward your thighs and your heels toward the mat. We want to make sure our neck is relaxed. You should be able to shake your head no, shake your head yes. Beautiful. Either stay here or lift your right arm and bring it back to your left shin. And return the right hand to the mat. Either stay here or lift your left hand, bringing your left hand to your right shin. Beautiful. Return the left hand to the mat. On an inhale, lift your right leg behind you. Step it through between your hands. Drop and extend the back leg. Rise up, arms up for a low lunge. Shoulders are down and back away from your ears and you're breathing. Be 
either stay here or if you're feeling confident, bring your left hand to the back of your left thigh, extending your right arm toward the ceiling. Breathing, reaching long through the spine, long through the fingertips. Beautiful. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Step back into downward facing dog so we can do that on the other side. On an inhale, lift your left foot behind you. Step it through between your hands. Drop and extend your left, your right foot. Rise up, arms up for a low lunge. Shoulders are down and back away from your ears. Either stay here, or if you're feeling confident, bring your right hand to the back of your right thigh and extend your left arm toward the ceiling. Beautiful. Bringing your hands to frame the front foot, step back into plank, the top of a push-up. Lower yourself down. And we're going to bring our palms and our forearms to the mat. On an inhale, lift the head and chest for Sphinx Pose. Keeping our spine long and breathing. Beautiful. And lower down. Coming to a seated position. We want our knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Our hands behind us on the mat with our fingers pointing toward our backside. On an inhale, we're going to press into the mat and lift our hips for a reverse tabletop. Engaging our legs, shoulders, arms, and breathing. Coming to lie on our back on the mat. We want our knees bent, our feet flat on the mat as close to our backside as we can get them. Our arms are long by our sides, palms down. On an inhale, we're going to press into the mat with our hands and feet. Squeeze our knees together and lift our hips for bridge pose. Pressing our hips toward the ceiling and don't forget to breathe. your knees together. Don't let them fall to the side. Our whole lower body is engaged and lower. On an inhale, lift. And lower. On an inhale, lift your right leg Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, opening up your knee to the right. Either stay here or start to lift your left thigh toward your chest. And lower and then cross the leg. Add an inhale, lift your left foot crossing your left ankle over your right thigh, opening up your knee to the left. Either stay here or start to lift your right thigh toward your chest. Beautiful. Lower the leg, uncross. Let's bring our knees into our chest and give them a hug.
keeping our knees bent, extend the left leg out long, keeping the right knee in at your chest, bring your arms out to a T. We're gonna let our right knee fall to the left side. It doesn't matter how far your knee goes, but you wanna keep both shoulder blades on the mat and breathe. And return to center. We're gonna switch legs, switching. Right leg is long, left knee is bent. Arms are out to a T, let the left knee fall to the right. It doesn't matter how far it goes, as long as you keep both shoulder blades on the mat. Turn to center. Extend both legs long. Reach and all both arms long, reaching long through the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day.